Hello everybody, this is Opster Gaming here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do code blocks on Discord. So to start with, we use a back tick at the start and then we can put say our text in there. So testing for a video. Then we're going to put another back tick at the end and you can see it does it in a little code block like that. Now if you want to copy as text, if you're on mobile you want to hold down on it and then press copy as text. Obviously, you can't do that on Windows. So instead of here, you just do your normal copy. I love that. But do be very careful when you copy, as a lot of the time, especially on mobile, it'll actually keep in your little back ticks, which will then, if you're, say, saving it for formatting reasons, it'll paste it in the code block. I mention that because one key use of this is to keep your format in. So, say for example, you've got your Discord ID. So, if I copy that and press paste there, you see it highlights up the game in YouTube like that and pings me. Whereas, if I do that in a code block, I'm going to paste it like that. So, I've got so now do that. It'll literally paste it like that. Now, that won't actually ping me because it's in a code block. So it keeps the formatting. So say I want to do it like this. Then I can do that. One second guys. So now let's copy that again properly. Now if I do it like this. So it seems that when you do that you want to make sure that you... What is going on? Yeah. So when you're doing it, also make sure that you put a space in between them, otherwise you'll get the same issue as I just did. So, not this sort of really winding me up. But you can see it did actually save the ID, it's just for some reason highlighting it. Yeah. So you did all right. That's how you save the formatting. Now, if you move on to the next one, you got two. Uh, it basically does the same thing, but I think that the text box is slightly larger. So, so yeah, it looks slightly larger. I think the actual height of it is a bit higher. Another example would be using three. This is when a real difference comes in here. So, say so you want to do it differently. You got testing for video at my text. Now, if I go and why is it a Y captain? That's odd. There you go. You see it completely loads up in a big box like that. So that's very different. Now you might be thinking, what's the difference between these and an embed? The difference is quite a few different factors. You can use them like the embeds, but you cannot ping somebody from within one of these code blocks. In an embed, for example, you can see there, you can actually ping people within it, whereas in one of these, you can't. You'll simply load it up like that. So, that is one key difference. You also cannot colour one of these text boxes. So, if we go and have a look, see if I get any embeds in here, but I added colour to. No, I just don't think so. No. My bad. Well, normally you got a little line down the left, which has got a colour on it, which you can do. Usually in call or something you can do that on. I think I've got a few videos there showing that. But on these code blocks you cannot do that. So do keep that in mind. The best use of code blocks is if you've got a piece of code that you want to save format and off. Or you've got a message where you use lots of emojis and lots of Discord USIDs. And you want to be able to copy and paste that message every now and then. In that case, you want to make sure that you paste it on one of these. So, let's try a, an emoji. Let's put a thumbs up. Let's put a big muzzle and some eyes. Now, if you save it in this, you see it saves it that. So, it saves the actual name of emojis with the little colons around them to define it for emojis. Now if we copy and paste them, 
You see it literally copies and pastes them as emoji. Do be careful on mobile, but as I said, it will save. If you hold down and press copy as text, it will save the back ticks. So you will have to make sure you remove them, otherwise you will end up with enough one of these. So do keep that in mind. That will be the same for disk wide IDs and everything like that. So I hope this video is useful. Please make sure to like, subscribe and definitely hit that bell icon for more content. And if you get any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. For now, peace out. Thank you.